this is not just a conflict, and calling calling it just a conflict is a is a misnomer, because this is an occupation that has been ongoing for fifty six years. So very limited uh, consideration for that, but also very limited consideration for the enduring trauma that also the Palestinians have in themselves, because um, while there is recognition for the, the, the tragedy that the Jewish people have lived through and through across centuries that culminated in the horror of the Holocaust. that there is a fair, objective and impartial representation of the re relationship between the Israelis and the Palestinians. The Palestinians are the ones who are blamed and smeared, including when they try to protest in Western Europe or to be in solidarity with, uh, with the Palestinians in the occupied Palestinian territory. <laughs> These groups, and they, I mean, they're all connected one way or another because they say exactly the same things that are repeated exactly in the same way, sometimes, sometimes in the same sequence, over and over. And the accusations against me are that I'm an anti-Semite, that I am pro-Hamas, and I support terrorism. Francesca Albanese is someone who pretends to be neutral. Uh, neither her position nor her own background have anything to do with impartiality. The weaponization of anti-Semitism and the level of smear against anyone who utters a word of criticism against Israel and everyone who utters a word of solidarity with the Palestinians face such a huge and evil um, campaign. I mean, I also spoke with, you know, human rights defenders in the Pacific Islands where they say, well, you, we face even arrest and detention if we uh, come out and protest in solidarity with the Palestinian people against what's happening in the Gaza Strip. So there is a crushing of freedom of assembly, a crushing of freedom of expression and of the right to protest that it's absolutely unprecedented at this global level and of this scale.